Hello, students. Heaven Sir is here again. So today we are going to start the new part of our chapter. We have started the light. Okay, and in light we already understood what is light. Okay, it is nothing but the kind of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, that we have already gone through in our previous video. So now we are going to start the next part, and which is the propagation of light. How light travels from one place to another place means from the point of source to the infinite distance. Let's discuss that. So we are going to discuss about the propagation of light. Okay. So as we can see in diagram, light travels in a straight line path. Okay. That is also called as the rectilinear propagation. Let's discuss over here. the so propagation of light refers to the manner in which the electromagnetic waves transfer its energy from one point to another point okay it is nothing but the transformation of light from one place to another place okay and you know that first place which is nothing but the point of origin from the light is being emerging okay so let like discuss one more time the propagation of light refers to the manner it is nothing but the manner in which the electromagnetic wave okay electromagnetic wave or radiation is nothing but the light okay it transfer its energy from one point to another point is called as propagation of light there are three main you know concept which follows by the light during the propagation so three main processes generally occurs when light passes between boundaries from the medium to another medium okay when light rays like we will discuss about the sunlight it travels from the sun it you know propagates or it transmits from its environment and then it back to the space which is nothing but the vacuum and then that light enters in the atmosphere of earth and then it reaches to us also okay so light always travel in a straight line path but in the transparent medium okay so there are three phenomena are take place during the propagation of light one is called as transmission then we have reflection and refraction okay these three phenomena on takes place during the transformation of electromagnetic wave which is nothing but the light from one point to another point okay these are the very important point that you have to write it down okay so now we are going to discuss about the rectilinear propagation of light see rectilinear propagation of light is nothing but the propagation of light along with the straight line path called as rectilinear propagation of light so the rectilinear propagation of light describe the tendency of electromagnetic wave or nothing but the light to travel in a straight line path to travel in a straight line path is the behavior of light okay it is also called as the rectilinear propagation of light light from the torch headlight of the car etc they appears to travel in a straight line okay these are nothing but the example by which we can understand where light is traveling along with straight line path or not okay if you will light up the torch or you can observe the headlight of the car or bike okay they appears to travel in a straight line path okay so even the laser light generally most of the student they must be having that laser light along with the red or blue color okay or sometimes green color also so that laser light you will observe in the dark it travels along with the straight line path okay so light from the projector it is nothing but the point of origin from where the light is being emitted okay it is called as beta projector so light from the projector travels in a straight line okay of um in the form of light see light is nothing but the kind of energy and which is in the form of electromagnetic wave or electromagnetic radiation so when it travel from project to 
the other point or maybe the infinite point it always travels along with straight line path you can observe in the given diagram also okay so light from the projector travels in a straight line in the form of light rays towards the screen towards the screen okay and light emitted from the laser pointer appears to travel in a straight line path so these are nothing but the examples by which you can understand you can observe with the light are being transmitting in a straight line path or not okay so this is all about beta the propagation of light okay so i want everyone have to take a screenshot for that just take a screenshot everyone now we are going to understand the reflection of light what is reflection of light we will discuss here okay so the reflection of light is nothing but when light rays incident on any object okay and after incident they reflect back into the same medium is called as reflection of light okay as you can see here this in the diagram this is the incident ray okay it is pointed here okay it is pointed towards the mirror means it is the incident ray beta okay and this is incident ray so let me write here oh here we have incident ray okay it is you know incidenting on the mirror and after incident it reflects back into the same medium okay so that reflected ray is represented over here okay so when light rays incident on any surface and reflect back into the same medium then it is called as reflection of light very simple okay so let's discuss whatever the point are given here there are some certain situation in which a mirror or a shiny surface like stainless steel or, or like plate or shiny steel spoon act as a mirror okay and that can change the direction of light when light falls on them okay suppose we have mirror when light rays incident on the mirror okay mirror have capacity or its smooth surface by which it can change the direction of propagation of light okay the change in direction of propagation of light from any surface is called as reflection of light okay so this process of change in direction okay it is very important huh? the process of change in direction of light by the mirror or any smooth surface okay is called as reflection of light i have highlighted with the red color this is the definition for the reflection of light okay so the change in direction of light by any surface is called as reflection of light okay it is a definition next the surface of the water can also act as a mirror and can also change the path of the light means the direction of light and what that is why we see the reflection of trees or building in a water we can sometime observe the you know the image of plant or maybe mountain or maybe you know the buildings in a water because it all have capacity to reflect light from it also okay so sometime water surface also act as a plane surface in the light, like mirror which have capacity to change the direction of light okay it is called as beta reflection of light understood everyone it is very important reflection of light so now here we have the diagram you have to draw diagram along with the written material we have here okay you have to write on your notebook also okay so now we are going to understand the types of reflection of light okay so i want everyone have to take a screenshot for that take a screenshot everyone
now we are going to understand the types of reflex okay so in first diagram that we have already gone through that okay when light rays incident on any surface and when it reflects back from here into the same medium then it is called as beta reflection of light okay but a reflection of light can be categorized into two categories okay the reflection of light can be thoroughly categorized into two types of reflection first one is called as beta regular reflection or it is also called as peculiar reflection okay both are the same thing we have the different name but things are the same okay so the reflection of light from smooth surface okay when light get reflected they ref reflect through the definite angle okay if the light get reflected from the smooth surface they get reflect through the definite angle this is called as beta regular or specular reflection here we have the diagram for the specular or the regular reflection see here these are nothing but the light rays these are the incident ray okay and when the incident on the plane surface this is the plane surface huh? i am writing here plane or smooth surface smooth surface it is a mirror okay so after reflection they reflect into the same direction or with definite same medium and definite angle okay so again after reflection this light rays again you know traveling you know as same manner as they are incidenting on the surface okay means the reflection is regular now okay now we have the next one okay next we have irregular or the diffuse the reflection okay so here we had smooth surface so here the surface will be rough so i am writing here rough surface rough surface okay see regular in regular manner light rays are being incident on the surface but after reflection they reflect through the different angle like this okay that's why it is called as beta diffused or ir regular reflection okay so let discuss over here the reflection of light when takes place by the rough surface okay from the rough surface that tends to reflect light in all direction is called as beta irregular or diffused reflection or in short if you want to say if you want to define you can say the reflection of light takes place from the rough surface is called as irregular or diffused reflection okay understood everyone so here we have completed the types of reflection also okay so i want everyone again take a screenshot for that and you have to write it down on your notebook also i will check your notebook okay so please write everything in your notebook okay beta so take a screenshot everyone done okay so now here we have completed our today's session so i hope you have enjoyed the session a lot okay if i just wanted to know how did you find this video just do comment on the video okay so that i will feel like a yes, hemel sir is making nice video okay so do like the video and if uh, you want to subscribe channel you can subscribe the channel also so that you will get regular notification whenever we will add the videos okay and uh, if you will miss that link so you can find that uh, video on the same channel okay so everyone aaj ke liye itna hi milte hain next video mein bye for now